All right, good morning and welcome to another day of Ralston's Big Adventure. All right, so this is the Zealand Hut. Uh, Dietz and I were able to snag a work for stay last night, like I said. So we slept in the dining hall, which is right there. These are the bunk rooms over here, where these windows are. Um, we had to sleep on our sleeping pads in the dining hall. Um, but anyway, we're about to help out with breakfast for the guests. There's like seven here. And then Dietz and I are gonna try to figure out, there's an alternate route that goes to Mitzpah that's a lot shorter than the AT. So we may take that instead. Um, or we may just have a chill day on the AT and not go to Mitzpah, but go to uh, Route 302. Um, we're still trying to work things out as far as just like what we wanna do. But anyway, I'll update you uh, as the day goes along. It's a crisp, like 40 degrees right now. Gotta be, but it's perfect. All right, so this is where we slept last night. Deed slept over there behind that table. I slept right here in this corner. Um, we got down with our work for stay, and now we're about to head out. First sign of fall. I am so ready for the least change. Oh man, that's beautiful. All right, so that right there may be the worst Widowmaker I have seen on trail. I mean, that is just waiting to fall and just kill somebody. So I am dying to see a moose. I want to see one so bad. And I feel like this is the place to do it. Because I don't think this trail is like super trafficked. So, um, cause moose I think are tend to be, want to stay away from people. And all the other trails in here are pretty much frequented by people at all points in time, but not this one. So, I feel like I have a good shot of seeing a moose between here and the road, but stay tuned. All right, so we made it to the AMC Center. We're gonna grab lunch and some resupply and then head back out to the trail here in a couple hours. But uh, we definitely made the right decision going the way we did. So, yeah, this is a good call. Definitely made the right call coming here. This is amazing. Uh, so we are just like super hyper trashing it right now. Um, we've been in this lodge, like dining hall for like probably two hours now, uh, just charging our stuff and hanging out. Um, we only have like two miles to go, so I think we're gonna wait for like another hour and then head up the mountain. Um, it should take us like an hour and a half, so we'll be there pretty early. Um, but yeah, there's literally no rush today, so we're just chilling out. I've got my stuff like all spread out, so yeah. But um, check back in in like an hour when we start hiking. All right, so we spent way more time at this lodge than we really anticipated. It's 3.49, so we spent nearly four hours here. <laughs> We only have like two miles to like 2.3 miles to go to get to where we're going tonight. So we should be there relatively quickly. Um, we should be there by 5.30 um, at the latest six. But it's just kind of funny that we spent four hours here. But again, we're, we weren't going super far today. And now we're just got to go on up. But I'm jacked. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get up there. All right, so I'm almost to the top. It's taking me one hour. Which I feel really good about. That's basically three miles over 2,000 feet of elevation gain in one hour. So that is pretty spectacular. But I wanted to talk about why, because there are some factors that I think would be important for you to know if you ever are like, I want to get out and hike. So a lot of things are working for me right now. Uh, the weather 
is nice and cool. It's perfect. Like my body temperature is like through the roof, right? Because I'm working hard to go up. But the weather is perfect temperature to keep my body cool and not get overheated so I can last longer. Um, I also feel very energized from lunch. So I got a great bit of nutrition there that has been fueling me. Plus, I'm like well hydrated with water and caffeine. And I mean, I'm telling you, I feel like this is perfect conditions. Perfect conditions for a really solid climbing day uh, and for a really solid climbing experience. So if you're wondering what peak performance is like, that's it. Um, but okay, I'm gonna put my phone up now, get to camp. I just wanted to share that. Hey y'all, it's Rostin here hiking the AT. I'm hiking the AT um, for several reasons, but uh, one big one is uh, to support the Isaiah 117 house in Blairsville, Georgia. Um, this organization organization is dedicated to um, you know helping foster kids at the moment uh, they're taken out of the home and some of the most traumatic parts of their lives. Um, that's where they seek to intervene, and so uh, they seek to provide a house with food, clothing, um, you know, foster parents, um, almost pretty much immediately after they're taken out of the home. So it's a really really great organization um, that's dedicated to bettering the lives of of children. And, um, and I just could not be more appreciative and more excited um, to support them and, and of all the work they're doing. Um, so if you'd like to help out and donate, you can visit the link below um, and it'll take you to the donation page. But uh, please consider giving a gift um, to help support Isaiah 117. Uh, thanks for tuning in and, uh, you know, as always, Maverick out.